हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो फ्रॉम द चैप्टर बॉडी फ्लूड एंड सर्कुलेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग दैट इज द डबल सर्कुलेशन एंड द सर्कुलेशन थ्रू स्पेशल रीजन्स ऑफ द बॉडी एज वेल एज आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर अबाउट द रेगुलेशन ऑफ कार्डियक एक्टिविटी बाई न्यूरल रेगुलेशन एज वेल एज हॉर्मोन रेगुलेशन सो वट एग्जैक्टली इज डबल सर्कुलेशन द मेमिलियन हार्ट इज फोर्थ चेम्बर्ड हार्ट undergoing the process of complete separate double circulation this means the blood passes twice through the heart to supply the blood for once to the body this transmission is necessary as it helps in oxygenation of the blood there are two steps of the double circulation they are the pulmonary circulation followed by systemic circulation so what is pulmonary circulation in this system blood completes its circulation from right ventricle to the left atria through the lungs here the deoxygenated blood is pumped by the right ventricle that enters the pulmonary artery while the left ventricle pumps the blood into the aorta the deoxygenated blood is passed on to the lungs from where the oxygenated blood is carried out by the pulmonary vein into the left atrium of the heart while the systemic circulation is the system where the pure blood is supplied to all the parts of the body during the transport the oxygenated blood or the pure blood enters the aorta which is carried by the network of arteries arterioles and capillaries to the tissues from where the deoxygenated blood is collected by a system of venules veins and vena cava thus emptying it into the right atrium this system provides essential nutrients oxygen and other essential substances to all the tissues of the body and eventually takes away carbon dioxide and other harmful substances away from the tissues for their elimination from the body thus the pulmonary circulation is a smaller circuit which carries blood to the lungs and back to the heart while the systemic circulation is a larger circuit which supplies the blood to the various parts of the body and back to the heart in pulmonary circulation the circulation carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation while in the systemic circulation it supplies the oxygenated blood to the all parts of the body so i hope you got the differences between the pulmonary and the systemic circulation the blood which is pumped by the right ventricle and received by the left atrium is through pulmonary circulation while the blood is pumped by the left ventricle and received by the right atrium in the systemic circulation apart from this circulation our body has two other circulatory system or pathways they are the hepatic portal system and the hypophyseal portal system so what is hepatic portal system in this type of portal system it is universally present in all vertebrates it is a univascular system that exists between the digestive system and the liver a vein called hepatic portal vein carries the blood from the intestine to the liver or the hepatic gland the liver finally opens into the inferior vena cava through its own vein that is a hepatic vein before delivering it to the systemic circulation now the question arises why does this hepatic portal system exist the answer is that a hepatic portal system is the unique vascular connection between the digestive tract and the liver that i have mentioned the significance is it that it brings the blood from the intestine to the liver before it is delivered to the systemic circulation due to which the liver gets its nourishment next circulatory pathway is the hypophyseal portal system apart from the hepatic portal system another minor portal system is there called hypophyseal portal system it is also present which consists of two hypophyseal portal veins which carry the blood from the hypothalamus to the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland now let's discuss about the coronary circulation although the heart is always filled with blood it does not take its oxygen and nutrient supply from the blood present inside the chamber then how does this heart or around the heart muscles get the oxygen from thus in order to supply oxygen and nutrient to the muscles of the heart a coronary system is also present the right and the left coronary artery arises from the ascending aorta which supply the oxygenated blood to the heart muscles the coronary vein brings deoxygenated blood to the coronary sinus thus carry it to the right atrium
Last topic in this video is the regulation of cardiac activity. The normal activities of the heart are intrinsically regulated that is auto regulated by the specialized muscle which are the nodal tissues. Thus the heart is known as the myogenic heart regulated by the following two system. One is neural regulation, another is the hormonal regulation. So first let's look into the neural regulation. In medulla oblongata of our brain, a special neural central is present which can moderate the cardiac function through the autonomic nervous system. The neural signals through the sympathetic nerve increases the rate of the heartbeat by stimulating the SA node. It also increases the strength of the ventricular contraction and thereby the cardiac output. Whereas the neural signal through the parasympathetic nerve can decrease the heart rate or the heartbeat by inhibiting the SA node, the speed of conduction of action potential and thereby decreasing the cardiac output. The hormonal regulation. Adrenaline and noradrenaline hormones which are secreted by the medulla of the adrenal gland has significant role in regulating the heartbeat and thus increasing the cardiac output. The noradrenaline accelerates the heartbeat why adrenaline does this function at the time of emergency. So my dear students, it was the complete chapter of body fluid and circulation. Hope you have understood many of the topic that I have discussed here and got an idea about how the heart works and the blood is carried to the various parts of the body thereafter. Thanks for watching the video. Take care. Bye.